Hey guys, it's me, Teacher Jane, and welcome to my channel. For today's topic, we will be dealing with angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. But before that, let's have first an activity. Directions, identify each pair of angles as vertical, supplementary, complementary, or congruent angles. Now let's try another one, determine the missing angle. Parallel lines and transversals So last time we have discussed about the different types of lines So we have the parallel lines are lines that do not intersect This is the symbol we use to denote parallel so this means that line AD is parallel to line CD. A slash through the parallel symbol indicates that lines are not parallel. So in this example, line AB in, and line CD are not parallel lines. Now, what is a transversal? A transversal is a line, ray, or segment that intersects two or more coplanar lines, rays, or segments. The intersected lines do not have to be parallel. So in this case, line JKM, line T 
is a transversal of lines J, K, and M. With these lines, we will be forming an interior angle and exterior angles. Interior, ito yung mga angles formed inside the parallel lines, while exterior are angles formed outside the parallel lines. So next, we have special angle relationships. With lines, uh, with lines intersected by a transversal, we will be forming interior angles and exterior angles. Angle 3 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles and so as angle 5 and angle 4. Angles 3 and 5 are called same side interior angle. Angle 4 and 6 are same side interior angles. So, sa exterior angles, ganun din. So, meron tayong mafoform na alternate in exterior angles. And we have also a pair of same side exterior angles. So, 1 and 6 and 2 and 7 are alternate exterior angles. While angle 1, angle 7, and angle 2 and angle 8 are same side exterior angles. Special angle relationships when the lines are parallel. Alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. Same side interior angles are supplementary. Ibig sabihin, pag ini-add natin, 180. Same side exterior angles are supplementary. But, take note, if the lines are not parallel, then this angle relationship do not exist. Another one, we have corresponding angles and consecutive angles. Corresponding angles are two angles that occupy corresponding positions. Angle 2 is congruent to angle 6. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 5. Angle 3 is congruent to angle 7, and angle 4 is congruent to angle 8. Again, corresponding angles. When two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, pairs of corresponding angles are formed. There are four pairs of corresponding angles formed. Corresponding pairs of angles are congruent. Same side, interior or exterior angles. Ito yung uh, kanina, sabi ko nga sa inyo, sa interior uh, angles, kapag pala silang nasa left, pala silang nasa right, yung mga pairs natin. So, they are supplementary. Ibig sabihin, kapag ini-add natin yung pares na nasa left side ng interior angles, ang sum nila ay 180 degrees. Ganun din sa right side ng interior angles, 180 degrees. So, ganun din sa ating exterior angles. Sum of the angles is 180 degrees.
Now, let's practice. Let's say angle 1 measures 120 degrees. Find the measure of the rest of the angles. Another practice problem, find all missing angle measures and name postulate or theorem that give us permission to make our statements. So first, syempre analyze muna natin yung problem, saan ba natin mas madali na mauuna ang makuha ang sagot. So syempre dito tayo sa 120 degrees. So kunin natin yung vertical angle niya which is... 120 degrees also. Then, para to make it supplementary, ano yung kulang? Okay, 60 degrees. Then, again, yung kanyang vertical angle, which is 60 degrees. And then, now, get their corresponding angles. So, ang corresponding angles natin ngayon ay 60 degrees. And then, hanapin pa natin yung mas madali pa nating makukuha ang sagot. So, hanapin natin yung meron pang vertical angles. So, dito ang vertical angles ni 40 degrees ay also 40 degrees. So, meron pa tayong vertical angle, so which is 60 degrees naman. Next. So, ano yung kulang? Every straight line is uh, is supplementary or 180 degrees. So, ilan ang kulang to make it 180 degrees? So, syempre, ima-minus lang natin. 180 minus 40 plus 60 or 180 minus 100 is equal to 80 degrees. So, dahil nakuha na natin yung part na yan as 80 degrees, then yung opposite angle niya or vertical angle niya rather is also 80 degrees. And then, kunin na natin ang ating mga corresponding angles. And that answer lesson today, comment down your questions. Yeah.